control, control it, gal, roll it, gal. Place mash up tonight. Despite the lineup of some 17 big names in the soca music industry backed by Guyanese artists, the show is expected to adhere to the 2 a.m. curfew. This was announced by Corwin Bollers, executive manager of Hits and Jams Company. He was at the time responding to questions from members of the media during a press conference at the National Park. So we want to start at 8. Uh, let me just say this to the Guyanese public that it's a very tight show. So as much as you see there's so many artists, uh, I think most of the guys will go and do a final rehearsal just now. It's a very, very tight show. We're trying to keep it in that 2 o'clock curfew period. Um, also taking into consideration that tomorrow is a working day. So we want to keep the show very, very tight. And um, in party music, we normally say no waste through, no waste time. It strictly hits. Bollers, however, has no issues with the concert being held in the middle of the work week. Like this girl, she wanna try and move up her waist like, like it's a try. The Bacchanal Wednesday concert is a concept which was adopted from Trinidad and Tobago and is said to be the brainchild of female soca sensation Destro Garcia. It was first introduced in Trinidad earlier this year. When I said jiggle it, we're going to make sure it loose out. And for all the Trinis here, listen, the new talk is boom out. Voice, the new talk is boom out. So when you leave, when you leave or you go back to Trinidad or Antigua, St. Lucia, let them know the guy in the talk right now is what? Boom out. The concert is one of two mega events which Hits and Jams Company has put on as part of its Jam Zone celebration. Hits and Jams is celebrating 17 years of providing entertainment to the Guyanese public and in previous years they have been extending their services to other parts of the Caribbean. It's in the middle. Huh. Make the two to us jiggle. Huh. So tonight, tonight, you know what I mean? I'm saving all that for tonight. Leroy Smith, Newsroom.